We are at the uh, Public Works garage site and also the site of the highway garage and we've had a lot of upgrades here in the last couple of years. Uh, some due to our CIP planning process and some were pushed upon us because we had a fire here. Uh, I don't know if you recall three years ago we had a fire and that necessitated the building of a new uh, highway garage. But today I would like to show you again all the vehicles within the town, the police, the fire, electric department, all the vehicles get maintained here at the Public Works Garage as well as the Public Works and Water Department vehicles. So we're going to go inside and take a look at the, the, um, uh, the, the upgrades that went on outside, inside. But outside you can also see all the buildings were painted. Uh, the building behind me was built in 1970 and again had a new paint job and uh, new windows were put in last year. Uh, so we're pretty proud of that. We're also going to show you all our vehicles. Uh, the town has been very gracious and, and uh, our staff has done worked very hard to maintain our vehicles. We're very proud of it. This year has been a mild winter and we've taken that opportunity to uh, make sure the vehicles are in good working condition and uh, we'll see that as we go through. So we'll go next is uh, into, into the Public Works Garage and show you what's going on inside there. Uh, this is where our staff of two mechanics, uh, Ed Wilder and Scott Sorrell, are responsible for maintaining the many vehicles within the town fleet. Uh, as we said uh, before, it includes uh, the electric department, uh, fire and police department, uh, the water and sewer department, highway, parks and recreation, and, and codes vehicles. So we have a lot of vehicles that go through this facility. Uh, recently, uh, the town has appropriated money to upgrade the facility. The facility was originally built in the 1970s, and uh, we had some electrical issues that had to be upgraded. We had some code issue, building code issues, and we also had a lift. Uh, behind me right now, we're looking at a heavy-duty truck lift, which was installed uh, working with our town crews and outside contractors uh, last year. And you can see on top of the lift is our uh, one of our newer trucks. It's a 10-wheel uh, Mack truck. Uh, it's, it costs a little bit more money, but we had discussions with the uh, Board of Selectmen about how even though it costs more money up front, it's going to last a lot longer. Uh, international trucks, which are cheaper trucks, would maybe last 10, 15 years. This Mack truck will go 20, 25 years. So the additional money we paid up front uh, will last and will pay us back. But the key to that is proper maintenance. And that's what we've been doing well. Uh, and I think our, our chief mechanic is, is the key behind that, as well as all our operators. So we'll, we're going to take a look at all our vehicles today. But we can zoom in on the Mack truck. Again, this truck is uh, about three years old now. And you can see what kind of condition it's in. We take good care of it. Uh, they've been undercoated uh, to prevent that's what kills our trucks is, is corrosion from the salt and uh, we're doing a good job of cleaning and, uh, and undercoating those trucks so they last longer. Um, what else we have going inside here, we, we've done some other things opening up some more floor space. Uh, you can see that uh, right now um, the, uh, this is our leaf blower which is going through uh, some uh, rehab, the motor's getting replaced and uh, during the end of the day a lot of our trucks get stored in here. Uh, in the middle of a storm. This is where some of the maintenance goes on of the, of the plow trucks as well as in our highway garage. What we'll do now is we'll take you outside and take a look at some of the uh, other equipment. That, uh, this is a pickup truck uh, that uh, we have uh, we purchased, I think it was a year and a half ago, and we had it painted green, which is different. Most of our town trucks are orange, but we want to go the green theme, and you can see we have our uh, town symbol on it, but it also has the reduce, reuse, and recycle, and that's a good pop uh, publicity for us. As we go around town, that truck is used now. Uh, we do a downtown pickup. We pick up our trash barrels and when the staff is uh, doing uh, certain uh, errands, we get the, get the message out to you. Again, we're lucky to have a good community in which uh, supports our recycling efforts. We also can see here our uh, tools. Uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, the tools necessary to do the maintenance on our vehicles. And we also can see if you continue and scan around, we have a waste oil burner. So all the oil that uh, is drained out of these trucks and what we collect is burned in our waste oil burner, which keeps our uh, heating uh, costs down because obviously that comes to us uh, free of charge. And today is a sunny day. It, even though it's the uh, uh, March 21st, uh, we are having a very mild winter. And as a result, uh, our trucks have had been had a chance to be cleaned and lined up. So we, we have, we're starting, um, at the end there, HD9, which is a new addition to us, a Terrasar, a one and a half ton tr plow truck, uh, and it is used for some of our smaller subdivision roads for plowing. If we move on to HD7, that's an international six wheel dump truck uh, that's again used on our plow routes and uh, heavy duty use in the uh, road construction cost. Uh, another one of our international dump trucks, um, that's HD2. Uh, then we have some of our pickup trucks, uh, which are used to help out with regards to um, uh, doing parking lots and some of the dead end streets. 
Uh, then we have our Farmers truck, which is a one-ton truck uh, that has uh, it's suited up with uh, de-icing, uh, so it can uh, salt and de-ice. It doesn't have a plow on it, but that it fills in behind uh, the front end loader who does the downtown area that doesn't have uh, a salting and sanding capacity. PW1 is our uh, mechanics truck, so he can that's set up to do. Uh, if we have a breakdown on the road, he can go out and do uh, road calls, as well as uh, being able to pick up parts uh, that are necessary. HD4 is another one of our six-wheel international dump trucks and, and plows. Uh, each of these uh, plow trucks is set up with a front plow and a wing plow. And then on a, uh, to the far right is uh, one of our newer vehicles. That's a Volvo front-end loader, or the old time is called payloader. Uh, right now, it has a snow bucket on it, so it's set up to do our uh, parking lots. So you can see the size of that bucket. It saves on, on turning movements. It saves on gas and wear and tear on the vehicle. Uh, we can cover more of the parking lots quicker with these uh, with the snow buckets. Also, if you're ever up during the uh, middle of the night when we do a downtown pickup, that's one of the uh, machines that's uh, collecting the uh, uh, the sand. I mean, uh, the, the snow downtown for for a pickup. Now, as we continue to scan around. We're looking at the old salt shed, and we're going to show you the new salt shed. So that's been uh, shut down. And then we have our old hangers, and we're looking at our backhoe. And then as we continue coming around, we're seeing our new uh, uh, fuel uh, station here. We uh, were lacking uh, with our old one. We appropriated money. And so now we have up-to-date uh, fuel pumps that are uh, both for diesel and unleaded. Uh, their card system so everyone who has a vehicle is, is issued a, a card so that we record uh, the date and the time and the mileage when the uh, uh, vehicles are being fueled up uh, that's now being tracked on the computer and we also do our maintenance we know how many miles or how many hours the vehicle has as you continue going over we see our bulk storage uh, this is where we contain we have two 9,000 gallon tanks one for unleaded and one for um, diesel and again uh, those we test those on a regular basis do inspections and yearly inspections to make sure we're all code compliant. And the last thing you'll see here, we have a new pad that was poured uh, so that we ever have a little spill, uh, just like at the gas station, or we can contain it here. And uh, this is now, uh, we're very proud of that, and we've done a little overlay uh, to kind of finish things up. As we continue coming around, we're going to spin around one more time, and we're going to look at the highway garage, which is uh, on this side. Now, the original highway garage was built in 1957. I just happened to know that day because that's the year I was born. So this building, uh, which uh, had the fire, uh, was partially destroyed about three years ago. And due to the, uh, again, uh, the town meeting, we were able to appropriate some money. They were able to build a new building. Uh, it's, it's, uh, we're going to go inside, take a closer look at that. But it, uh, again, it's a, a fantastic facility that should uh, serve the community for more than 50 years. Now standing in the back side of the uh, public works garage, this garage also houses our water and sewer crew. Uh, we have a five-man water sewer crew who's responsible for uh, maintaining all the water distribution lines as well as the sewer collection system and our pump stations. So that crew uh, has a uh, we have WS5, which is a one-ton truck, which has a plow on it, and it's used to uh, plow out the hydrants. After every snowstorm, we have to plow out 240 hydrants. Uh, WS2 is set up uh, for our sewer uh, stations, and uh, it has uh, all the equipment necessary to respond to emergencies uh, for, uh, and sewer manholes and, and our pump stations. Uh, WS3 is one of our new vehicles that was purchased last year. It's for the uh, our foreman. And then our last two trucks, uh, WS4 and WS7, are scheduled for replacement. And uh, again, we appreciate this year's town budget. Both of those vehicles are going to get replaced this year. Uh, again, we're trying to do a very good job of maintaining these vehicles so we can last them longer. And uh, I think um, we're, uh, we, uh, the program is showing its the dividends by uh, you know, these vehicles uh, lasting longer. Now the next thing I want to show, which is also exciting, what we did last year, is our salt shed. Our old salt shed was old and, and uh, was, didn't contain, uh, store enough material. So this is a new building that was designed and built last year. Uh, again, it, it is a uh, reinforced concrete foundation and sidewalls about eight feet high, and then we have a uh, steel master uh, superstructure on it. Uh, the whole facility was built for about $70,000. Uh, the town did a lot of the, uh, the labor uh, in terms of uh, site work, and we bid out the, uh, uh, the installation of uh, this, this building and the concrete. Uh, this facility can now uh, house over uh, 500 ton of material, and it will last us uh, for many storms and it also keeps the water off it which is a, a good thing um, and um, we're very happy we also have uh, you can see there's a connection there we uh, when we the salt comes in 
we treat it with a, a chemical magnesium chloride. Uh, that changes the, uh, uh, the color of the salt and it keeps it wet and that makes the, the salt stick to the road. It also makes the salt activate at lower temperatures. Uh, so in our uh, attempts to uh, keep the roads black or keep the roads safe during storms, uh, we use uh, all the tools uh, that are out there. So magnesium chloride chemical mixed with the uh, rock salt is what we put out before storms to keep the, uh, uh, the pavement uh, black. Uh, and then one more turn, you can see our sand pile. We also use sand uh, when it's necessary. Our gravel roads only get sand, and uh, the sand is also used to keep weight on the trucks uh, if they need, if it's a slippery condition, and sometimes to put out a little grit uh, so that we have traction during a snowstorm. The rest of the facility, as we can see uh, behind us, is, is in the different stages of upgrades. Uh, again, uh, the, uh, the crews have been doing, I think, a fine job of, of uh, taking care of these buildings, and we're very proud of uh, the work they've done. Okay, we are now inside the uh, highway garage. This is a new facility. It's a Butler building that was built uh, th uh, two and a half years ago now. Uh, we had a fire that uh, destroyed, partially destroyed the building that was built in 1957. So this building can house uh, our two, uh, excuse me, four of our uh, six-wheel dump trucks with the plow and wings on, ready for a snow operation. This is a heated uh, garage so that, again, in the winter time, we can have the snow can melt off the vehicles. The heat is in the uh, slab, this is radiant heat, uh, fueled by a wood-fired uh, uh, furnace. Uh, we have uh, drains here that drain to a uh, holding tank. Um, and uh, the building was designed with such a shed roof that the water goes off the back, so when you go out the front doors, we don't have any leaking or any water coming in. We also have a uh, 20 uh, by 60, uh, 80, excuse me, 20 by 80 break room. Uh, locker room and offices for the foreman and for the assistant director of public works. Above, we have a mezzanine where we store, we store a lot of our uh, equipment. Uh, once on the left hand side, we have our paint equipment for doing uh, painting lines and uh, symbols on the, on the uh, roads. And uh, we have uh, all the way up to the right, we have signs where our signs are and miscellaneous uh, equipment. In the middle, we have uh, a lot of our storage of our public works documents that uh, didn't have a home, so we set up a file. With that, we're going to go inside and we'll, we'll show you the, uh, the locker room and the, and the break room and the offices. We're just doing a quick tour inside the building now, and right now it's lunchtime and the highway guys are on their break, but this is our break room, and uh, it leads on one side we have our offices, and on the back side we have our, um, our, our uh, locker rooms where the guys can store their gear and whatnot. But uh, you can see again here we have uh, radiant heat, uh, the heat's in the floor. Uh, again, fired by a wood-fired uh, furnace, and it's well insulated and again, well built. And uh, again, we're very happy with uh, how the building turned out and how the guys are taking care of it. We are now in the back of the original garage, 1957 garage. Like I said, partially destroyed. Here we still have two bays in which we use to uh, uh, garage the uh, grader and uh, another one of our trucks. But in the back, this is where we put the heating system for the old garage and the new garage. So this heating system is a uh, wood-fired uh, furnace, and I'm going to get my hand right here. It's wood pellets, and if you can take a close look at that, but that's what we have. We buy in bulk, and the wood pellets are uh, blown in to our containment structure, which we have right here. This uh, facility here holds about seven tons, so we have a delivery truck which people usually get old oil deliveries. Now we get pellet deliveries, and they can be blown in. Uh, from a truck outside into here, and then pneumatically it goes into our system. Uh, these pipes here, which are blown up, uh, and then come around and, and then into our uh, uh, wood fired boiler. Uh, so now we've turned around and we're looking at our um, main energy system uh, wood pellet uh, furnace. Uh, this is a single unit, it's able to though, produce enough heat uh, to heat not only this garage, the original garage, which is two bays, it also heats. Uh, the the the, uh, the new garage, the two bays, and the uh, office, and the break room, and, and the locker room. Uh, that building is a 60 foot by 80 foot, well insulated. And uh, this building here, and we're, we've been able to cut our energy costs significantly with the wood pellets uh, versus the old uh, oil burner. You know, we always get criticized. Sometimes you drive by and you see five guys leaning on a shovel. 
Well, we have plenty of shovels to lean on, but most of the time they're not just being used to lean on, they're being used to, to move dirt, to move uh, sand, gravel, whatever the job may be. Again, um, we've taken the time today to show you some of our physical f facilities, but we also got to remind the men behind the job. The highway division is made up of 10 guys, uh, water through is five, uh, the public works garage has two men, and they work very hard uh, to keep uh, our facilities up and running, uh, to keep our roads safe, uh, to keep the water you drink clean and safe, and to make sure uh, that um, our number one priority is public safety. Uh, and again, we appreciate your support, and uh, again, we continue to hope to, to do a good job for you. And again, if anyone ever has any questions about public works or the water sewer system, uh, feel free to contact Dave Ford at the uh, town hall. Thank you very much. Thank you.